welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games, part of the Edict Bear 40k War, War Games Unification Group on Facebook. The link is below, please check us out. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. In this video today, we're going to talk about my use of Alpha Legion Havocs in my lists. These are normally in a, uh, if I have a, to do a list of 1800 points and in a minute we'll go table down and I'll tell you how I use them, how I, how I pack them out and why I do it that way. So, see ya. Welcome to the table and uh, This is my havocs that I use in a, a severe alpha lesion. I have some of this uh, key, keyword. Uh, basically, it's a spearhead. Uh, I, what I do is I have a case of jump pack lightning claws. I then have three, a unit of three last cannons of the missile launcher and a standard loadout champion. I have three heavy bolter. A missile launcher and a standard loadout champion, and then I have three auto cannon squad, a missile launcher, and a standard standard loadout champion. These generally stand in buildings or or in cover. With, a, with objectives and uh, with the Lord close by to give you well, well some hits at one uh, tend to prescience the last cannon one and uh, they, they with 48 in trains they, they target the big stuff uh, Megan's normally get hex is something if it needs it, they shoot, take take it down to to a reasonable amount of wounds, and then everything else shoots. And I also put veterans on them, so they're uh, fresh into hitting on twos with a lord there. We, we, uh, Rewalling ones, so pretty much everything gets through. Uh, veterans of the long war, they're wounding on twos, and as I say, against most stuff, you are either getting a five, five plus or no save at all. And if you've got an inball save. As I said, Magnus Death Hex is that uh, takes away the involved save, and then at the end of it, I use the uh, Salinish Stratagem, which allows you to fire again at the end of the sh shooting phase. And of course, with pressing veterans of Long Wall, we, we generally take out a knight in, in one turn like that, or, or they take out a unit of wraiths canoptic wraiths uh, or a unit of destroyers or it, it tend it tend to work quite quite well like that again they can take out uh, vehicles two vehicles a turn sometimes it depends on the you know wounds characteristic uh, and how well you roll but that's why I use them twice, just in case. If if I wipe one out in one turn, I then then have another turn to wipe something else out. The, the Lord's there just to provide the buff, and if he needs to get into CC, he's got the lightning claw, so he gets extra attacks, and he he he, he sort of heroically into things and stops. People uh, 
Thing. I mean, the heavy bolt ones you, uh, I, uh, I, I are the only unit that I, uh, I wouldn't do, and then I just generally sometimes uh, just march them up a board, take back minus one, or hitting on four pluses, it don't really matter. But uh, what it does is it, it, it stops uh, units uh, targeting the uh, characters, etc., other characters. Because they're not the closest, and it, I mean, Alpha Legion is quite useful to use. Yeah, minus one, uh, you make them slow neshy because of the uh, the uh, stratagem that allows them to fire twice. I mean, the low cannon and water cannons have got 48 in trains in the middle of all launchers have. Uh, water cannons are only minus one, two damage, but again, they're good chip of the way. Multi wound, sorry about that, multi wound uh, characters, the heavy bolt was just chipping away at. Uh, Hordes uh, and just allowing the rest of my list to do what it needs to do. It allows the Zengals to go in, mop up, it allows Araman to go in, it allows the Magnus to go in, mop up big bits. They it... <laughs> just chip away and because Magnus is usually up front and uh, in your opponent's face. They, they can't, they, they try and deal with him while they're dealing with him, bees are chipping away, so it's, they're just adding constant pressure to it. Uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you would use them differently, uh, have a different loadout in the squad, I mean, they're, they're like this because of the last tournament I played and that's what I needed. I personally probably would have had four, four less cannons in the unit, not a missile launcher. Four well, uh, same with the all cannons and bolters. Uh, but money, points, etc. made it like this and I probably would have had three units of uh, all, all as cannons. And probably, I probably would have got less cannons than missile launchers. Three less cannons in each, and a missile launcher in each. Or three units, but points and time that was, and not not realizing that I only came with three of each heavy weapon option in a box, or also. Uh, while well, well, they're like this, but as I said, if you would do it, use them differently, you use a different legion, etc. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you think I have anything wrong uh, or, or could use them better. Let me know. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the share button. And that little bell up icon somewhere down there, down down in the bottom bottom corner, so you'll keep up to date with all my videos. And remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded. And thank you for watching. Thank you bye for bye. watching. And remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded. Goodbye.